We're talking about those lead candidates. How do you see this playing out? Well, Isabel, um, the front runner does seem to um, uh, to be Annegrette kramp karrenbauer She seems to be just ahead now. Uh, kramp karrenbauer is a very, very close ally of Angela Merkel. In many ways, she mirrors the Chancellor's values and approach to politics. She's seen as a very likable mother of three. A vote for AKK, as the German press calls her, will be very much a vote for the status quo. Now, the other two candidates um, are similar in that they both represent the more right-wing politics of the Conservative. Conservative Party, uh, which is something that many in the CDU think is necessary at a time when the CDU is losing a lot of support to the populist AFD party. Um, Friedrich Merz does seem to be in second position at the moment. Um, he is returning to politics after nine years in the banking world, and the party does seem to be divided on whether this will make him a good party leader or not. Um, he has been very much criticised for going too far on his tough stance on migration, recently calling into question the very constitutional right to asylum in Germany, which is considered sacrosanct. This is something he will no doubt have to defend as the three candidates uh, have their final stop on their campaign tour this evening in Berlin. And uh, can you tell us, Jessica, how is this going to affect you know, the new leader of the CDU, the new chairman of the CDU? How will that affect Angela Merkel's ability to govern? It will very much affect Angela Merkel's ability to govern because she'll be very, working very closely with the party leader and uh, the party leader will very much be shaping the direction of the CDU party and also uh, in some ways guiding Angela Merkel's hand um, in when it comes to policies and uh, in some cases holding her back if they don't agree with her. So um, I think it's, it's certainly going to be very important for Merkel. I think very critical next uh, weekend in Hamburg is also the fact that the CDU is voting on whether or not to back the UN migration pact and if Angela Merkel doesn't get backing for this this is going to be seen as a real personal failure for her and many people here are saying that if uh, the next CDU leader does not is not someone who who really is is harmonious with Angela Merkel's politics then this could affect whether Angela Merkel decides to govern as Chancellor until 2021.